Hi, my name is Jennifer Forbes, and I'm an employer liaison with Performance Plus Rehabilitative Care here in Ottawa, Ontario. And we are celebrating Mentorship Month. And I have with me three panelists today. I have Cheryl Timpson, who's the Human Resources and Quality Assurance Programs Manager at Everpost. I have Glenn McInnes, who's producer and host of the show Outburst. He's at the Cable Public Affairs Channel. Uh, and I have Shiloh Bellis, who's music director and on-air host for Stingray Radio. So we'll start by asking our panelists one question. Um, what does mentorship mean to you? We'll start with Cheryl. Um, to me, mentorship means uh, an opportunity for experienced individuals to share knowledge and skills with an individual who's open to receiving them. Um, it's coaching, it's being a counselor, and being a cheerleader for that person. Wonderful. Glenn? Well, I mean, I, I can only echo a lot of what Cheryl just said. Uh, I mean, what, what, what does it mean to me? I mean, you know, it, it's, it's, again, yes, giving that opportunity to young people. Uh, that, and a lot of opportunities maybe I didn't have when I was younger, but uh, it's, it's, it's really nice to to enlighten um, a young person uh, or a, just even a new person to the industry uh, about how things work and uh, what they can expect. And it gives them a little bit of confidence and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing to, uh, to help uh, young people and to help students get a, get a grasp on a competitive industry. And uh, it's it just great to help. Thank you. Shiloh, what does mentorship mean to you? Um, I think mentorship means the world. I think that, um, you know, we owe it to the younger people coming into our businesses to make our businesses better. And we move forward as whatever industry we're in with the new blood that's coming in. I think that we all have sort of a, a, a role to play in that. So I think everyone um, should get, you know, involved in mentorship with any level of people coming into a different business or industry. Wonderful. Cheryl, what does an employer need to know about being a mentor? Well, an employer has to realize there are costs associated to mentorship, um, but it's one of those costs that you're going to get your value back threefold. Um, your mentor learns just as much from their mentee as the mentee learns from the mentor. Usually what you'll experience in a workplace is other individuals seeing somebody being mentored, and you have other people stepping forward asking for that same opportunity. It's an opportunity to, to build relationships, to build trust. And I think both parties end up coming out winners because both get the opportunity to learn from each other. Glenn, would you be able to add on that in terms of what benefits might you receive as being a mentor? Um, well, it's, it's, it's countless. I mean, it's, uh, you know, so many. I mean, I've been fortunate enough uh, over through my career with CPAC uh, to have mentored uh, students uh, from Canada and actually the United States. Uh, for several years, we had students uh, coming up from the University of Western Kentucky. So. Um, and they would they would come up and they would work on uh, my show outburst on CPAC, plug plug. Uh, but anyway, but it's um, it, it's just meeting people from all parts of the country and uh, and all parts of the continent. But it's uh, it's just wonderful being able to um, you know pay it forward. If someone gave me a break down the line, uh, it's nice now that I can help somebody. Um, achieve their goals and and again help, just help teach them what is uh, expected in this industry uh, industry from them and and the other benefits are I've seen several of these students I've, uh, I've had over the years move on to careers in journalism and they're doing quite well so and and you feel good about yourself and you pay it forward again so it's uh, and, and hopefully they'll pay it forward too. Excellent. Uh, Shiloh, could you please tell us about a time that you received the guidance of a mentor? Um, I try to receive the guidance of mentors even now. I think we can learn so much from anybody in, in the industry. And I think 
you know, it started out with, um, uh, you know, when I first kind of went on the radio, I, I had kind of a bad report from a consultant that we had in the States. And a, just a, 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 a cool mentoring thing was just a word of wisdom. And it was it stuck with me. It was don't let someone's uh, opinion of you become your reality. So that's mentorship. It, it wasn't like, you know, hands on teaching me all kinds of stuff. It was just a, a, a properly placed uh, bit of advice. Um, and then when I started doing music directing, um, I sought out one of the best in the business at the time. And I just said, hey, can you mentor me? And, you know, uh, it was weekly calls with him for, for months just to learn the trade, develop my skills, but learn from him too. So, but I think we always learn from everybody. Can I just jump on something as well? Uh, just when Charlie Certainly. was, when you're, when, you're, uh, when you're talking about people's opinions of you and... Uh, one thing I, I do like to tell uh, young people, uh, and it's I, I think somebody like Eleanor Roosevelt originally said it, but it was, uh, and I always like the, the saying, but it's uh, nobody's better than you without your permission. So if you go out there and you uh, and you uh, believe in yourself, then uh, and don't let anybody bring you down, and that's going to to happen and through through life. It happens to us all. But I mean, if uh, you can keep that kind of outlook, then uh, you'll be just fine. Well, thank you, everyone. This has, thank been, you, Jen. A, this has been a great uh, panel discussion. I'm happy Thanks. to be here. Pleasure hey. as well. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Take care.